Welcome, one and all, to Jabatum Fun Studios, to our first Let's Play of any game. It's a game that has been around for centuries and is usually on all PC units. I am accompanied here today by the founder of Jabatum Fun Studios, Joey. How are you doing? I am Thomas. We will be accompanying you through the gameplay and a little bit of history of solitaire. So let's open this program up and let's get the show on the road. Goes over, hovering over the queen here, looking through what he's got. Puts a queen on the king. He's got a four. Can he do anything with that? Flips his first card, it looks like. Two. Take that back. He went straight back down at the six. Two. There's his first card, and he's got a date. We'll see what he can do with that. King. He's going a little bit fast here, man. See, he missed that five with the six there. He's got a five. He's going to place it on the six. He's going to bring the four over. That gives him a three. Ten. Can't do anything with. Seven. Okay, there's his first ace. Let's see what he does there. He chooses not to put the two up on the ace. I'm quite surprised. Joy must be doing a be doing a different approach today. I'm sorry about that. To the two, he finally decides to move the two up. Like a king here to actually fill in that blank spot, but to the three, can't do anything. There he's moving it over. He's actually moving it to the ace. There we go. Brings the black three down. Four. While watching Joey play Solitaire here, I think I will uh, give you guys a little bit of history on Solitaire. Solitaire was a group of card games known as Solitaire dates back to the mid 18th century. Internationally, the game of Solitaire has many names. It is often called Patience. Especially in Britain and France, the game is sometimes called Success. Other languages such as Danish, Norwegian, and Polish often use the word Kabul or Kabbalah to describe these games. This goes back to the early origins of Solitaire where the outcome of the game may have been tough be a type of fortune telling. Solitaire makes its earliest appearance in writing in about 1783 where it is described in a German book of games. It was described as a competitive card game where players would take turns or play with separate decks of cards. The idea of playing Solitaire completely by oneself probably came out of people enjoying practicing for competitive games. Also it is widely believed but not true that Napoleon played solitaire during his exile. Many solitaire games bear his name or the name of the island he was exiled to. However Napoleon enjoyed the more popular games of the day such as Waltz but by the mid 19th century solitaire was popular in French society. It was also around that time that Solitaire took hold in English society Prince Albert was known to play, and books of rules begin appearing in English in the late 19th century. It wasn't until the second half of the 20th century, though, that most modern forms of patient games begin to take shape. Hundreds of books describing hundreds of different Solitaire games have been published. In the 1980s, personal computers made Solitaire more popular than ever. Since players don't need to shuffle and deal the cards for each and every hand, gameplay has become more enjoyable in addition to the ability to start a new game with only the click of a mouse has brought forward the addictive quality of these games. There are more than a hundred distinctly individual individual I'm sorry solitaire games with that number reaching more than 1000 when you consider minor variations that is really interesting what do you think about the history there Joey? Well, that's a lot of information I actually didn't know about the game there's a lot more history if you guys are interested in looking into this fabulous card game there's a lot to it it's really simple it's really basic and it's something that will help you pass the time so as we continue playing here, it looks like Joey's struggling a little bit at this time, but is also doing a very fantastic job. Joey, how long have you been playing Solitaire? 
Oh, since I was just a young boy. Uh, and I'm willing to agree. You know, Dan, do you play solitaire much over there? No. Uh, Dan doesn't play solitaire. You see, he doesn't know how to pass the time as well as some of the rest of us, or he'd rather do some other things, but we will not get into that today. If we get enough subscribers, we may be able to tell you the background history of what Dan likes to do in his spare time. But so let us continue. I will be quiet. I will be quiet here for a little bit, and I will let Joey talk here if you would like to. Would you like to say any words here, Joey? No, no, I'm focusing on my game. Got to get in the zone for the solitaire, you know. I hear you there, man. All right. Uh, let us watch, sit back and relax and watch Solitaire. After a little bit of the history here, let's get back to the game where Joey looks like he's about to wrap up the game and win it here, and he does. Got a little pretty fireworks and all that, and cards exploding. If only my actual deck of cards would do that after I was done. I'd be poor for as much as I have played Solitaire in the past. This has been Jabatum Fun Studios. I'm Thomas. This I'm Joey. And we'd like to ask you to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or anything of Let's Plays that you'd like to see us go through, comment in the box below. And we will be glad to either respond to you or take you up on that offer. Subscribe, and thank you for watching.